Okay, this is the demonstration of the foam cutting apparatus. And we uh, designed and constructed this equipment to cut some large foam blocks. These blocks were one foot wide by 18 inches tall, eight foot long. We're using nichronium wire. This is a 0.42 ohm per foot, 18 gauge. This seemed to work pretty well. It had enough strength um, to withstand the force when I pushed the foam through. This is the one I used before, the 26 gauge. It was a little, little too light. I broke it a couple of times. Okay, we're powering it with this auto transformer I had. This is a 120 volt input, so it just plugs into the wall. And it's a 140, 150 volt output. Really, it's probably about 130, uh, 3000 watt. There's the model number. You don't have to go this elaborate. I just had to happen to have it. And that primary or secondary of the secondary of the auto transformer, which is variable now, controls the primary of this transformer. This transformer, I have it configured to take 120 volt in and 24 volts out. The output of this transformer simply goes to each end of my cutter. So it's tied to here, conducts through this spring to my wire. Same with this side. Okay, here's a sight of the wire, and you can see the wire from this post to that post, and then I have a spring here to keep tension on the wire. As the wire heats up, the tension will change. So I've got pretty good tension on it while the wire's at normal room temperature. My post, I needed some way to make this adjustable. Okay, so what I did is I used a piece of strut. This is Unistrut. Inch and 5.8 Unistrut, electrical trade. And I've got a nut in there that rides along the strut. And on the top, I've got a plate welded with another nut. So as I turn it, the nut turns, turns the threaded rod. And as I turn the drill, I can adjust the angle of the wire. Okay, we're gonna turn it on. We've got power. So I'm gonna turn this up to maybe half. Should see the wire getting warm here. Okay, we're gonna see the wire starting to smoke a little bit. It's just burning off some of the foam we cut earlier. We'll turn it up a little bit more. We should even see it get red. There she goes. Wire's nice and red. Take it down a little bit. So she gets plenty hot. So I'm going to take this foam. I use this plastic here just to give me a slippery surface. surface and I'm using the board as a straight edge. So I'm too high. So stand by, I'm going to adjust it. Okay, we're going to attempt to cut a piece here. Here we go. Okay, take it, take it, take it through. Okay, that, that's enough. Let's back it out. We're not going to cut it all the way through. We're going to save this piece. Oops. All right, we moved it a little quick there, but anyway. So we're rushing it a little bit right now for demonstration purposes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and make an adjustment.
Okay, here we go. All right, let's uh, reassemble, reapply the foam. And now we have a nice angle. That's good. Okay, that sums up the demonstration. Thanks for watching.